What we have here is a little bit of controversy uh, in the NFL. Uh, this one involving uh, <coughs> um, Ray Lewis, among several other players. What they're doing is they're using uh, deer antlers as a performance enhancing drug. Mm -hmm. Apparently deer antlers have, um, it's called velvet antler. It's like the soft coating that covers the antler itself. And what they do is uh, they, they take that, they freeze dry it, then they make it into a powder form and put it into capsules or somehow make it into a liquid spray. Mm -hmm. And um, No, it, don't do it. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to pull a, a Sarah Palin and kill that poor uh, deer for your nonsense capsules? capsules? Yeah. Ray uh, Lewis, don't do it, man. And apparently it has the same effect as human growth hormones. Uh -huh. And what it does is uh, it aids greatly in recovery. Uh, it helps build tissues. It strengthens tissues uh, more so than you can ever do by training alone. Yeah, I I'm incredibly skeptical about this story, right? But a lot of people are swearing by it. They're swearing by it, and I actually have a personal experience with it. Oh, really? Is yeah. that why you were made the NFL? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. In case you don't know, I, Steve didn't make the NFL. Full disclaimer, <laughs> never even tried out for the NFL. Really? Really. Yeah. Although he was pretty good on the high school football team for a couple of weeks <laughs> before we went shopping. Hey, I was MVP of football on our Martin Luther King weekend trip. Uh, among his group of 40-year-old friends. So yes. think about it. I was better than hey. Dave Kohler and better than Jank. This close to the <laughs> NFL. Anyway, so what was your personal experience with it? Well, um, you, you know, Koreans and Asians in general are really into herbal remedies of every kind. And they, for, for, for centuries, they've loved this deer antler thing. It's like, yeah, you see, look, here's the thing. Herbal remedies make sense to me. So when Asians are talking about herbal remedies, I'm like, most logical thing I ever heard, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when they get into the tiger dick, I'm not buying it, yeah. you know? And they're always like, no, no, no. It's got to be a whale's, you know, vagina. Okay. No, it's <laughs> true. Which is otherwise known as San Diego. <laughs> 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 or it's got to be a deer's antlers, or it's got to be a squirrel's ears. I, I hear you. I hear right, you. Okay, right. so... Um, as you know, I was very poor growing up, even in Korea and also when we came to the U.S. initially. And I was a very sickly child. Mm -hmm. I was always sick and always feeble. Uh -huh. And my parents thought, what is wrong with this kid? And they somehow had some special connection to someone who had this deer antler, um, velvet antler stuff. Uh -huh. So they, what they did was they, they sliced it up and they turned it into like some sort of drink. And they had me drink it for a couple of weeks. And they swear to this day that after that, I've been, you know, fine. I've been healthy. And it's true. I've, I've been much healthier than my sister who, uh, who didn't have it. Uh -oh. Okay. And, and, and the other reason why I semi-believe this is that apparently if you give this to children who are too young, they actually become, in the words of my mom, retarded. Oh, jeez and Lord mercy. First of all, I denounce and reject you because Sarah Palin made me. All right. Uh, second of all, uh, they, so, but they gave it to you when you were pretty young. Where do you draw the line? How seven. do we know you haven't become... And that I'm a little retarded? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay. okay, watch out for the deer amplers. That's yeah. a significant downside. No, I had it when I was seven. Okay? Oh, okay, but my right. mom said that if you have it when you're too young, like, if you, like, you're, like an infant, uh -huh. like one or two, three years old, that it messes you up. And she swears it. And if it is, in fact, human growth hormones, maybe it does mess you up if you have it too, when you're too young. I don't know. Okay. I know, but don't trust yeah. the moms too much. My mom swears that if a bird shits on you, it's like the greatest <laughs> thing that ever happened. <laughs> you're about to get some awesome news. But look, it's working for the NFL players. Uh, and now there's the interesting part of it is that it is not detectable by urine tests. It's only detectable by a blood test. Right. They don't do blood tests in the NFL. And then they're saying, well, and it's, since it's natural, it's not synthetic, it shouldn't really be illegal. Right. That's the question. Should we make it illegal? Because if we do, you can't enforce it. You can't detect it. You can't enforce, there's nothing you can do about it. So why not just make it legal? Right. And the other question is, if you made it legal, so what? I mean, is taking deer antler any different than, let's say, you know, having a protein shake? Right, or, or drinking or, orange juice. Yeah, I or, mean, that's yeah, or, natural. Or just eating healthy or whatever. You know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a form of um, making your body healthier and recovering faster. Yeah, I feel bad for the deer, but that's a compelling case. I mean, as long as it's not synthetic, it's not one of those hormones, et cetera, that's banned. I don't know, let's try it. And besides, I want the football players to be quicker, faster, and I don't really, you know, their well being. That's yeah. their issue, not my issue. Am I, I don't know, maybe I'm being an ass. Besides which, they're all on steroids anyway. 
Keep it real, okay? Yeah. I mean, nobody ever talks about it, right? They only talk about it in the context of baseball. But have you seen the linemen? They're all on roids. Okay, now you're worried about deer antlers? Please. I, I, I totally agree. I think worrying about deer antlers is, is, uh, is, 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 is the least of their concerns. I mean, there's so many things that are way more important. Concussions, the steroids, other things, uh, the deer antlers, whatever. Right. And look, I, I, originally I didn't believe in the deer antlers. Uh, and, uh, and neither did Tom Jackson. And, uh, but Bar Scott had something to tell us. To all the non-believers. How did that? To all the non-believers. Especially you, Tom Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Bart Scott into the deer antlers. Who knew?